I know, Peter, but... Oh, damn it. I can't believe how much my breasts have swollen. <gasps> Oh, look out! Champagne! Peter, stop! <laughs> oh, Lois, you're all wet. Here, let me jiggle you dry. <laughs> giggity, giggity, God, I've made a terrible mistake! <laughs> hey, Lois, you see my hiking boots? I need them later for park soccer. Peter, why the hell do you look like that? Uh, my name isn't Peter. My name is Justin. I'm living a Justin lifestyle, and so is my family. You want to go to a concert? Huh? Want to go to a loud concert? No. Since I'm your cool father, Justin, we should bond with skin-to-skin -skin contact. How about Justin takes his shirt off and we can get some photos of you on Justin's belly? Your heartbeat is weird. It is not consistent at all. Okay, let's go for a ride in my open Jeep. I took the doors off, so it's extra terrifying. Hey, I thought I told you kids to go plow in the field. But, Dad, we've been plowing all morning. Yeah, I can't take any more plowing. I can barely walk. Look, I know it seems like dirty work, but, Chris, you got to spread that seed until your sack is empty. And, Meg, you got to clear away all that brush so he can plant it deep where it needs to be. Okay, we'll keep at it. But I think that hoe is pretty much worn out. Well, flip it over. You can use both sides. <laughs> Neil and Cecilia, I didn't expect to see you here. Meet Jake. My boyfriend. I want some BBs! My dad lets me shoot at cats! Oh, hi, Meg. Neil and I are celebrating our two-week anniversary. Oh, it seems like only yesterday he was just a stranger videotaping me through the window. Big deal! He did that to me three years ago. And he gave me the tapes for Christmas. He gave me DVDs. The production values were amazing. Much better than Kramer vs. Predator. I say, does anyone know how the practice ended last night? I dozed off during the verdict. Oh dear, it seems you're still it. <laughs> Stewie, what have you done? That's not the way we play. You sit here, Brad. Stewie's it. Ooh, aren't you the one in charge? Hi, Chris. How is school? Wait, what's that note pinned to your backpack? Bet it's from a girl in the lunchroom who wants a taste of corn dog. Was that a sex joke? It's... I don't know. Shut up. Oh, dear. It's from Principal Shepard. Peter, he wants to see us first thing tomorrow. Oh, Chris is in trouble. Sounds like he needs a little fatherly wisdom. Better get my pipe. Peter, I think that's the wrong kind of pipe. I'm sorry, Mom. I haven't been doing too great in school lately. Well, that's very disappointing. I guess your father and I will have to talk to the principal and figure out how to handle this. Ah, I wouldn't worry, Lois. I never did very well in school, either. I even failed homeroom. No. Freaking way. They have breakfast for dinner. Lois never lets me do that. Lois, do you have any idea what I'm looking at right now? Peter, we're not doing this again. I am at Harvard, the smartest school in the country, and they have... Peter, breakfast for dinner is anarchy. It's fun, Lois. It's whimsical. It's ridiculous. Pancakes are not a nighttime food. You're ridiculous. What, breakfast for dinner is a real hot-button issue for you guys, huh? She's also mad because I shook Stewie and now he's walking weird. Wow, Jimmy. That was everything Ladies Home Journal said it would be. <laughs> awesome. Great. Thanks. Um, you know, there's, there's something I... <laughs> there's something I gotta tell you. Being with you just made me feel so alive from New York. It's Saturday night! <laughs> it's Saturday Night Live! Yeah, that wasn't a very good opening sketch, was it? A rare miss. I don't think that was a... <laughs> we did it! We got him! I feel like we're in The Sting, that movie from 100 years ago, about 150 years ago. Great work tricking him, Brian. Thanks. Well, you know, I credit my years as a writer. When I planned the con, I saw Quahog as a character. Okay, that's enough. Oh, Gene Shalit. I am the ghost of Roger Ebert. <laughs> and even in death, I'm a better critic than you. Leave me alone! Go back to hell! Gene, is everything all right? It's fine, Joanne. Go back to sleep. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs>
Over here is our kitchen, where we make all our meals. And upstairs is where we sleep. What about your wives and families? Sometimes we don't see them for long periods of time. Well, that sounds awfully lonely. Like being an NBA player on the road. Baby, I miss my wife so much. Thanks for understanding that we can't do anything. I just want to cuddle. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm just doing what a man should do, respecting the sacred institution of marriage. And now, straight to sleep. This message brought to you by the NBA. Let's all pretend this happens. That went exactly as I wanted it to go. Here, girl. <sighs> Sorry, uh, I, I thought I smelled cookies. Wow, does it really smell like cook? Oh, God, she fought it and it went down my throat. It was my job to keep the children from eating each other. Hey, hey, no, 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 spit him out. Jeffrey, spit him out now. And Mike, you spit out Timmy. Over the next several months, I developed a relationship with a seemingly nice young townie named Derek. Eventually, he got comfortable enough with me to introduce me to his friends. Oh, Friar Lawrence, are you absolutely sure faking my death with this poison is the best plan? Well, there's also Herbal Life, which is an amazing product, and I think you specifically would make a great addition to our team. I'll, I'll take the poison. Thank you, Friar. And, and since I'm picking up a prescription, can I uh, pay for the rest of my items here? Uh, I, I, I guess. <sighs> oh, ha, yourself. Hey, how'd you sleep, Peter? Huh, Brian, last night I had this crazy dream I was eating a sheep and now my pillow's gone. Oh, wait, here it is. What the hell was I eating? <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> Very well, time for action. A lock of the Queen's hair shall soon be mine. Here she comes. Have at it, then. Craggy, this is a haircut fit for a queen. Oh, bloody hell. All right. Time for plan B. Let's go! I'm not going any lower. Well, Father, you gave it a good go. Oh, we're not done yet. Come on! <laughs> Queen! Queen, give me some of your air! Come on, Queen, don't be a bitch! Get us away from that lunatic! <laughs> Dad, what are we doing at a Cherry Poppin' Daddy's concert? Well, Chris, I'm wearing a vest. Figured I'd come dance with other lonely whites. Let me just connect my really long chain to my wallet and get in there. I'm tangled. I'm tangled in your wallet chains. Stop! So somebody please tell one of the 20 people on stage to please stop playing. I can't feel my arms. One of you tattooed Betty Boop ladies, help me! Hey, Meg, what's with all the beer cans? Oh, my dad got a job at the brewery, and he gets lots of free beer. Actually, he's kind of been going overboard lately. Oh, my God. Hey, Meg, <gasps> you see my pants? <gasps> oh, Lois, by the way, we're out of toilet paper. <laughs> what's your name? Ricky. They're not kids, they're midgets. Filthy drug-peddling midgets. Oh, my God. Look out, Brian! <laughs> oh. 